Hey, the title of this video is Rip Got It Right. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Sydney. It is always a rich and rewarding experience to take a, deep, a brief break from our day-to-day -day demands in the struggle for freedom and human dignity and discuss the issues involved in that struggle with concerned friends of goodwill all over our nation. And certainly it is always a deep and meaningful experience to be in a worship service and so, for many reasons, I'm happy to be here today. I would like to use as a subject from which to preach this morning, remaining awake through a great revolution. And the text for the morning is found in the book of Revelation. There are two passages there that I would like to quote. It's in the 16th chapter of that book. Behold, I make all things new. Uh, former things are passed away. I'm sure that most of you have read that arresting little story from the pen of Washington Irving entitled Rip Van Winkle. The one thing that we usually remember about the story is that Rip Van Winkle slept 20 years. But that is another point in that little story that is almost always completely overlooked. It was a sign in the end from which Rip went up in the mountain for his long sleep. When Rip Van Winkle went up in the mountain, the sign had a picture of King George III of England. When he came down, Twenty years later, the sign had a picture of George Washington, the first president of the United States. And Rip Van Winkle looked up at the picture of George Washington, but in looking at the picture, he was amazed. He was completely lost. He knew not who he was. And this reveals to us that the most striking thing about the story of Rip Van Winkle is not merely that Rip slept 20 years, but that he slept through a revolution while he was peacefully snoring up in the mountain. A revolution was taking place that at points would change the course of history. And Rip knew nothing about it. He was asleep. George Washington. Yes, he slept. King George the Third. George Washington. One of the great liabilities of life. King George the Third. Is it all too many people find themselves living amid a great period of social Washington. Change? King George the Third. Washington Irving wrote the story. The Washington. Code names. Washington. Situation King George III. They end up sleeping. Rip didn't miss anything. Through a revolution. He didn't sleep through a revolution. There, be no gain saying of the fact there that was the no revolution. Taking place in the world today. In the sense it is a triple revolution. That is a technological revolution with the impact of automation and cybernation. Then that is 
was a revolution in weaponry with the emergence of atomic and nuclear weapons no, warfare. No, they don't exist. Then that is a human rights revolution. With the freedom explosion that has taken place all over the world. Yes, we do live in a period where changes are taking place. And that is still the voice crying through the vista of time. The only change that took place was in the perception of the colonist and the perception of those to come to think that a bunch of farmers with pitchforks mostly 50 percent or more from England rebelled against the most powerful nation on the earth and fought with pitchforks and a few musket balls and one freedom. Ha! Rip didn't miss anything. By seeing the picture of King George in the story of Rip Van Winkle, Washington Irving is telling us George Washington was just the image of King George III. That's all. That's all it was. The colonists now had an image to bow down to. That's right. They now had an idol called King, called George Washington. They just got rid of the name King. But they didn't get rid of the face. Though the face of George Washington up in the lower, up in the left corner, and the face of King George in the lower right corner, it's identical. And yes, thank you, Rip, you told us. Thank you, Martin. And P.S. Thank you, Sidney Portier. End of video.